Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I dyed my hair. What do you guys think? I've literally just dyed it. I think I love it. I'll show you what I used. So if you're not new to my channel, I was using the Knight and Wilson Lightest Ash Blonde, which just, they didn't have any bleach in it. So it just lightens my natural color. And for about a year or so now, my hair's kind of gone back to my natural red. And then I was like humming and hawing because I can't afford to go to hairdressers and maintain and update. So I thought, do I take the plunge and try something new? So I went for this. So this is the Clare on Lace and Easy Cream, <clears throat> excuse me, 8WR Golden Auburn. And considering the fact that I'm nearly 40 and I was like, you've been dying your hair to get rid of your natural red. I thought I would embrace it, but just give it a bit of a boost and I really like it. So we're going to put makeup on with our newly dyed hair even though it's like nearly three o'clock in the afternoon what do you guys think it's so mad and i love how different it looks in different lights like i've, I've just posted a picture on my instagram and on my facebook there in the living room and it looks totally different all over and i love it i don't know if it'll fade dead quickly or not that's the only thing so right we're going to use some a mixture of old and new products I guess is what I'm trying to say today I think I want to use this palette by Colourpop which is the twist of slate so I'll take that out and I'm going to use my new iconic lip liner with the lip product and I'm also going to try this is my little bag of goodies I'm going to use this under the eye trick with the concealer and then we'll maybe use this blusher who knows let's just crack on I'm so excited um, so excited. So let's start off with some primer. This is probably going to be a long video, so you might want to go and get yourself a drink. I am using the Glossy Air Priming Moisturizer Rich Luxurious Face Cream, which I got in the post randomly, like a year or so ago. The weather has been so changeable. Was it being warm and then or warming up and then cold so we'll pop that on <clears throat> i can't believe i took the plunge and went for it i was like literally in the shop yesterday going to himself oh, will i be a wimp and just get my normal stuff or <clears throat> and then really just go for it i'm going to put some of the elf this is the halo glow liquid filter and i have it in light fair Like, even looking at my roots, they're just so much more nicer than that dull darkness. I mean, the test will be how quickly <clears throat> it fades and stuff. Really and also, um, in general, like, I tried to, what is it, today, today? Is it the 15th today? 15th of March, as I'm filming this and of course I pre-record but I might throw this in as a bonus somewhere. You never know. Today I am going to use my Hydromaniac in the shade Light 30. <clears throat> I actually bought two boxes of the colour because well, it was two for, I think it was two for 10 50 or something in the uh, Superdrug. And also, 
I just wasn't sure if one box would be enough. Oh, and my grey hairs are gone as well. Is it just me though? It's so stressful dyeing your own hair. Like trying to see. What I did was like, I sectioned the top bit and I did it with a thingy and then I was just getting it on my hands and with the gloves and I was just really rubbing it in there because I was just like, it was really hard to do the back and make sure you're getting all the bits, you know what I mean? I suppose it'd be easier if you had someone to help you, but I mean, I could have asked myself, but you know. This is such a gorgeous foundation. I got Laura onto this. I think it's the only one that Laura uses, actually. I'm not sure, but... And I managed not to dye all my face as well, you know, like, get it all over the place. I mean, I got some on the t-shirt that I was wearing, but it was just a pre-mark one with a plain pre-mark top sort of thing. One thing I will say is I don't like the floral smell of that hair dye. I mean, it's not the worst in the world, but it does say on the box that it has a florally scent to it. I can't stop looking at my hair. I've got this feeling and some of bones. Look how dewy it is with that. Now, I want to take a sponge and just push it a bit into my skin. These sponges are from Boohoo and they are so good. Just make sure I'm pushing it up into my hair like, oh, I can't stop looking at my hair. Like, I was tempted to try dyeing it blonde myself, but I was just mo too worried to do that. And also, I was like, the upkeep of it, and would I need a toner? Would it go brassy? Okay, we're going to try this trick where you get a, quite a pinky blush. This is Strawberries and Cream by Mitchell, and I can see there. And what we do with this... Now, if you're like me and you suffer with under eye darkness, this might be a wee trick for you to try. So take some of the blusher. I'm just going to do one eye at a time. Take one of your concealers. And I'm going to use the sponge. And you just mix it in. And it's really good for counteracting the darkness. Now, you're still going to see some darkness because, you know, it's no miracle worker by any means. But look, compared, you're still seeing the darkness in that there. I'm using my old Samsung phone. I've decided that when it comes to filming makeup videos, I'm going to use that phone because it seems to work better. Like, I've got my ring light on and stuff and it doesn't seem to be annoying and harassing okay this is the best concealer of life i love it so much and then again just taking it with your sponge or a brush or whatever you prefer to use and just placing it all I'm just taking dragging it up there a wee bit just because I get darkness on my eyelids as well. And then get your powder that you're using. I'm going to use the e.l.f. under eye powder. Just tap some of that into the lid. Get my little trig wheel puff. This trig wheel puff is like so soft. And then powder down that. I'll have to try and get the big puffs of this. I'm actually 
looking a little bit dewy woo Right, I don't know whether to continue on with the face makeup or go on to eyes just now. I might continue with face makeup. I'm going to use the She Glam Soft Sculpt Liquid Contour in the shade Golden Sun. I love this stuff. Suck in those cheeks, people. It smells like chocolate mousse. I just want to eat it. I'm definitely getting more of these from She Glam when I can. And I'm going to go back in with my sponge. And we're just going to work that in. I'm starting down on the neck. And dual area. And then... And it's not disturbing or lifting up the makeup underneath, you know, if you're worried it's doing that. I'm just putting that onto the side of there, like, and then just... I didn't even know that Boohoo did makeup, did I? Like, I haven't tried their actual makeup, but I think it was last Christmas. Myself got me these, like a little bag with them in. Even the seagulls are happy today. And that's your bit of contour done. Will we continue on with face and then we'll go to eyes? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to go into this palette that I got for my Christmas. This is the Beauty Pie uh, Glow All Super Power Face Palette. So you get a highlighter, a bronzer and two blushers and they're all cream products. So I'm going to <clears throat> get a small brush and go into the bronzer, which again is powder as well. And we're just going to sort of dab it onto the skin. I think it's got a little bit of a, a sheen to it, does it? Maybe not, maybe it's just my eyeballs, but... It looks really dark in the, you know, in the component, but down the neck, I will have a bit of, a bit on my nose. So I mean, it's just, I'm maybe needing a wee bit. If you feel you've put too much on, as always, just go back in with the foundation brush and just go over it. No need to panic. Okie dokes. Now I am going to take my Charlotte Tilbury blusher because I hardly ever use this. This is an ecstasy. Let's take this. I'm just going to take it on this BH Cosmetics brush. And I just want to swirl it up. There's nothing wrong with this blush, it's just I never, I never reach for it. Like, that's why I love doing the short moustache and things. But for today's video, it's more because I'm so excited about my hair that I just wanted to put me on. Okay, and then for highlighter today, I'm going to use the highlighter from this. This is She Glam as well. This is a Glam 101. Highlighter and blush duo in Santa P. So there's a blush at the bottom, then we've got this like peachy kind of a highlight. And I think I'll take it on this tiny little brush from Real Techniques because I do love these little brushes. I quite like a peachy pinky blush um highlighter actually. Oof, it's a bit glittery, is it? But It's going to give us that nice bit of something. Okie dokie dokes. And then I'm going to set my face the now before. I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Grip Set and Refresh Spray, which I is new to me. Just to set everything in place. 
Ik heb ook die waft. Hey, let's move this makeup bag over a bit. And we'll move on to the eyeshadow palette. And that's funny. Right, let me just get my makeup brushes. Okay, so I picked up this palette by Colourpop from Beauty Boxes with Tammy. So it's called Twist of Slate. It's a cool tone palette because I like cool tones. This is what it looks like. And it's got a cream shadow here. And this is the first time I have used it. I'm so excited. I got my itch. Okay, so let me just, I don't really know what to start with. Maybe one of these would be best. I'm going to go into the only cream shades in it, which is called In The Stars. And I'm taking this Real Techni Techniques brush. And I'm just going to use this maybe as a base. I actually think it might be better with my finger. Oh, that's really nice. It's very subtle and actually looks totally different to the colour in there. But it might... You know, it's kind of flesh toned, really, so. It's quite bizarre, to be fair. How bizarre. Because I'll show you. This is the colour of it here. And that's it on my eyes. You know, it's kind of subtle, I suppose. Subtle. Right. Let me get a little brush. This is a Peaches and Cream PC37 brush. And I'm going to go into the shade So Fated. Oh, I've got a really itchy nostril. I'm sure you really do not know that. And I'm just lightly going to apply this into my socket and my crease. I really want to get some more cool toned palettes. I really like that actually. Excuse me. So we're using, we've used the cream colour and we're using this colour underneath. And I actually, do you know what? I would wear this on its own. And I'm not usually, I'm going to put that down one more. Maybe even a bit more even. It's just such a lovely, I don't know, like a muted kind of grey taupey colour. And it's really gorgeous. I'm actually going to take that button down. My hair. It's stunning. Very nice. Okay, dokie, dokie then. Then I'm going to go into the shade beside it, which is this one here, which is called Take a Chance, Take a Chance, Take a Chance, Take a Chance, Chance. And I'm going to use the same brush. Just going to swirl it off on my clean towel here. Let me tap off. And we're just going to intensify and take it slightly below. It's almost like a smoky. A smoky grey, isn't it? It's so lovely. And so far I've got no fall down here, but I haven't used any shimmers or such like, but I keep catching a glimpse of my hair. <laughs> Tootley, you're so sad. That's the little things in life. Also going to take that as well. You can always conceal more and add. I don't know why I do that. I'm very so funny, but I seem to. So. That is so pretty. Oh, I don't know what shimmer to do though. Obviously, I'm drawn to that shimmer. 
So we'll go in with that one. It's called Mica. I'm going to just take it on my hand. Wow. Oh, that is so nice and dreamy. Wowzers. That is stunning, isn't it? Look at that, guys and girls. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. That is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Oh, it's like... Oh, you need this pal in your life, people. That is stunning. I definitely made the right choice in getting this palette. Then I am going to take a slightly smaller brush, if I can find it. Peaches and Cream PC22. And I'm going to go into Night Vision, which is like a really dark grey. And I'm just going to lightly position it just in this sort of outer part of my eye because my eyes are slightly hooded I need to take it that bit higher up or you would never see it but how stunning is that again same brush eye open and just pushing that product in there I'm also taking that I don't know why I'm opening my eyes like that Needs to help. Mm. It's super tickling. Oh, I'm obsessed with this eye. Look. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to take just a wee fluffy brush with nothing on it and just go over the edges a wee bit. Obsessed, love it. Definitely love that palette. Okay. Now, for liner, I was going to try a liquid liner, but I don't think I am going to. Hmm, where is the browns? I'm going to use this one by Colourpop, and it is called Call Me Anytime. I'm going to put that in the water eye. The concentration and then for Miss Garo, as always, I'm still using the ones I have opened, so I'm using the rare beauty one. I would like to try and find some nice half lashes that are actually comfortable and easy to wear. So, that would be good, but who knows? I think that's such a lovely mascara. 
Now, I don't know if it's going to be ruined by the lips, but I have this new Iconic London stuff. So this is the Iconic London Fuller Pout Sculpting Lip Liner in Material Girl. And I picked this these colours because I love Helen Willis. And these are the colours she picked. But I should have got a different colour in this because when I did try it the first time I got it, I didn't think I suit it. But anyway. And then you have a little smudger. So you can just kind of soften it. And then the colour that I picked, these are the Melting Touch lip balms, and I picked in the nude again because Helen did. No. Mine's is a mess because you click it at the bottom but it doesn't wind back down. So bear that in mind. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, I don't actually have a lip brush. I'm going to take some on this just eye brush. And apply it to my lips. I personally think I should have got a more pinky colour maybe. But who knows? What do you guys think so far? When I first put it on, as I say, I didn't think I, I suited it, but what do you think? It's not bad actually. Maybe we've had a change of heart. And that is the finished look with my brand new dyed hair. What do you guys think? I love it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the, bo bong, the bell to be notified of when I next upload, and I will see you next time.